Speaking of college, <laughs> education statistics clearly show that the average college graduate makes significantly more money over their career than those without a degree. But now there's a major shift taking place. Dasha Burns explains. I was like, they're never going to put me in this job. Beth Christian is Pennsylvania's acting deputy secretary for administration, a position she reached without a college degree. Did you feel that barrier? It took me about 10 years to get to the level that a, a person with a degree would have. Beth stood alongside Governor Josh Shapiro as he eliminated the college degree requirement for 92% of jobs in state government. This was your first official act as governor. Why? We want folks to know that we're going to judge you based on your skills and the, the grit and determination that you bring to bear. Opening up about 65,000 jobs to non-college graduates. The Democrat joins his Republican counterparts in Maryland and Utah who've made similar moves. I'm sick and tired, frankly, of this attitude that if you don't go to college, you don't have the requisite skills to succeed. More than 62% of Americans over 25 don't have a bachelor's degree. For people like Doris Mayhew, who works in the governor's office, college simply wasn't an option. I come from a one-person home, you know, single mother, my father in and out of incarceration. I remember in high school, my mom saying, like, you have to get a job, like, you're not going to go to college. About halfway through her career, Doris did decide to go back to school. I just felt like... I had to have the piece of paper. But it's a growing trend in today's labor market. One in five employers are relaxing educational requirements to attract workers that have historically been shut out. Potential candidates are saying, OK, so I can go into the workforce, avoid debt and, by the way, be rewarded with pay increases that we haven't seen in quite a while in the U.S. A college degree is not essential, even in the high tech spaces of our economy like IBM, who implemented a skills-first hiring approach in 2016. More than 50% of our jobs do not require a college degree. How has that changed the workplace? What we are finding is that the real world experience is ensuring that they have a broader, more diverse set of skills. IBM says it's seen a 63% increase in applicants from underrepresented communities by taking away the degree requirement for more jobs opening doors to those with experiences beyond the traditional classroom. Even if you don't meet every single requirement for the job, you should apply because the aperture is much wider now. Dasha Burns, NBC News, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania.